gotta be crass, you gotta be cold It's everything we know I used to be quite stubborn and younger and when I was younger and didn't really want to take the advice or the, the help of others and kind of just was like I'm gonna no I'm gonna just gonna do what I'm gonna do because this is my path and like you know I'm not gonna listen to anything else besides what it is that I believe in and I still very much carry that mentality but I realize now how much I could have benefited from trying to listen to the help and advice of other people you know I I've been promoting a lot recently that the band is not this, you know, crossed arms, cynical, bitter, hateful group of people, and we're very much not. I mean, there's many discussions shared amongst all of our guys and, and myself that are very uh, based on hatred towards something but they always seem to end up being really funny conversations. They're never just, it's not like we're sitting around being like, yeah, I fucking hate that. <laughs> yeah, me too. You know, it's, it's not as so dumb as that. Uh, we are just like so sarcastic and so, uh, I don't know, just like over, just fucking over so many things that it, it, it's enabled us to look at being hateful and bitter in a way where we just have fun with it. I think for us, maybe the answer that we would give is probably when we toured Slipknot. Because, right. you know, before that moment, anyone always asked us, like, what's the one band you want to tour with? And Slipknot's always been the answer. And then to go on that tour and not only be touring with your dream band, you're touring with Lamb of God, who's also you know this, this huge band, and, and finding out that everybody on the tour are like the most classy, professional, sweet dudes. It just made that tour, the dream tour that was already that already came true, that much more sweeter. And it's our job to go out there and either try to turn the tide or just get through it. It is an incredibly humbling experience that I am so grateful that they gave us a chance to be a part of because cool. every band needs that. I'm right. sure even Slipknot feels that they need that, you know? Um, so that for me was probably my, my favorite and most fun tour. Working with Clown was very much one of the most uh, unique experiences of my life. Really appreciated his very unique and, to me, genius way of approaching things. And uh, he's very much a visionary and a creative, creatively driven person. I felt like we were this kind of band where we were very fortunate enough to be working with him. Uh, I didn't want to challenge him in any way, but I was like, you know what? Like, there's certain things I wanted, I need to change here that I just can't, I can't, I'm not feeling. And that moment of like having to give him a call and be like, so maybe this is a little bit different. I was like, I was just sweating, man. Like, is he gonna, is he gonna be like, no, fuck you, I'm out. And he was totally cool with it. All right. And he was all about really making sure that the band was happy while also, you know, getting to do something that he felt was what he wanted to be a part of. I'm very grateful that he worked with us and we got a video that I think is uh, very visually uh, metaphor. I, I don't know, it's just, when I watched it, I'm like, I'm so happy that this worked out and it's exactly what we both talked about it being and uh, I think he loves it as well. You gotta stand up, you gotta I remember on stage, uh, I think we are in Chicago maybe, and I had not seen Corey watch us yet, or at all, not expecting that he would, but I hadn't seen anybody watch us from Slipknot. And I remember being in the middle of singing something, and I turned and I saw him, and it was just like, <laughs> like I, I, it, I forgot the words, I like, couldn't find where I was in the song, because I was like, oh my god, Corey, like, oh shit. Like, it just became so much more stressful. You know, I'm very much the, the kind of person that believes that you know, you get what you give. And if you're gonna be, if you're willing to put that amount of time into something, you're gonna receive a reward, a reward for it one way or another, sooner or later. And I think that our band is a prime example of exactly that. You get exactly what you give. We've been through great and through a lot of great moments and some tragic moments, and they've all kind of created the life and the personality and character that is motionless and mm. so I'm, I'm proud of it all.
Looking great, man. Thank you. Do you really mean that? Like, 